pick, The After Party, which again is... Uh, this is not a parody, but it's a show that is basically a murder mystery, but it's a comedic show. Like, um, the characters are just random, you know, um, random... They actually come here for a reunion uh, at this party, and um, Dave Franco's character is now a big celebrity, and he hosts this party, so <laughs> they all come here. And they have obviously some connections from the past and stuff, um, which we see play out episode by episode um, through the lens of each characters. So the way these characters are, the genre and tone of the show shifts when we are watching their story through their eyes. So, for example, the first episode is through someone's eyes who is kind of romantic. So the whole episode is kind of a rom-com vibe to it the second episode is through the eyes of um you know a, a dude who's like so the basically the whole episode is from the action movie perspective and the third episode really, i think it is kind of gay he yeah loves, like rambo loves like yeah he loves action, action and all that yeah cool Cool, uh, yeah, cool movie stars. <laughs> the, he was actually kind of more Vin Diesel in the second episode. Yes, tonight. yes. And the third one is basically a musical guy because he loves music and stuff. So the whole episode is a musical. Yeah. <laughs> so I just loved the uh, concept of this, and this show is written and directed by Chris Miller, um, one half of the duo that we love. Um, so yeah, I won't say much, but I think that should be enough to sell you on the show. Uh, I, I really like this. Um, I'm enjoying watching it. I cannot wait uh, to see more. I wish that they dropped the whole show together, but, but I guess I'll just have to wait week on week from now on. But yeah, it's really interesting and the all the characters, the actors are pretty good. Um, I'm sold on the story. I'm sold on um the comedy of it uh tiffany haddish is doing a pretty good job she's very funny in this uh she gets to interrogate every um single one of these people so that's why you have these um you know episodes divided with you know each individual and i thought it was a pretty genius move to have these you know uh genres based on what they do that's pretty cool I cannot wait to get to that mysterious kind of woman character yeah. <laughs> who looks like Grace very, Randolph. It's going to be very kind of noir, kind of yeah. style. Black and white. <laughs> art and something like that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one as well. Like, I, look, watching this one, I was like, yeah, it's okay. And then I could see where they were going, murder mystery, okay, different perspectives and stuff like that. And I was like, I've seen this before. And I've seen like, okay, it's kind of like, in terms of the last duel where each character's different perception of what happened and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, I've seen this before in, in numerous shows throughout my lifetime. But what's interesting about this is, as KSC said, the first one's about this guy, you know, he look, he's more of a romantic, so that's romantic team. And then like episode three with Ben Schwartz is a, is a basically, basically a musical. And I I was watching episode three and I was thinking, I think they, they missed out here. The entire series should have been a musical because... <laughs> Ben Schwartz. Dude, the songs were amazing. The, the songs were so good. And I was like, is this going to be the end of I'm the I'm saying this as someone who hates musicals. They, they, were, they were so good. I want to listen to them again or repeat, or repeat when they hit YouTube or whatever. Download them on Spotify because they're actually really yeah. well uh, choreographed, formed. Yeah, very catchy songs as well. Yeah, sure, whatever is, is one of the songs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure, whatever. It's good. The way they did it was fantastic. But yeah, I, I do like it. I didn't like it first that all oh, different characters, different perspectives, but now I kind of like it because they've added something new to it. And it's a big murder mystery. I think the mur I think the murder is in the trailer, but I'm not going to say it just in case I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, they're just trying to figure out who did it. Tiffany Haddish is the detective. Yeah, but basically with this cast, like none of these cast members are like maybe maybe Tiffany Haddish, like. They don't really star in movies that much. A lot of this cast, they're basically like the the, the third or fourth character in a the movie. They're having like the they're there for comedic relief, you know. And those type of actors are probably the best 
types of actors in those comedy movies because you know there's that certain character there that has, you know, just kills every time he's on screen and so you put all these characters these actors together and they're doing an awesome job really are and uh yeah i wish i could binge it all it's like 25 minute episodes and stuff but yeah i'll have to see how it goes but yeah uh, the episode three was my favorite the musical one yeah mine too <laughs> Rokan, you haven't seen this? I haven't watched it yet. I, I, I did just redeem my Apple TV uh, trial, free trial, and I've been watching Ted Lasso. I just finished Ted Lasso, but I did see ads for the after party before each episode would begin, so I do want to check it out, though. I love... Uh, it, does, it does look pretty funny, and also I'm a big Ike Bernholtz fan. I used to like... I used to, like, uh, I used to watch him on, on Mad TV back in the day, so... He's always been kind of like a, a a dude I always look forward to. Nice. Yeah. It's definitely one to check out. I think it's 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 the same kind of thing we've seen before, but it's different as well because of, uh, as what we said. But yeah, it's on Apple TV, isn't it? And they're killing it right now with, with shows yeah. and stuff. So some of the best content out there, consistently good content, is from Apple TV. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, the other shows look, look fantastic. So I think they're doing an awesome job. And the senator kind of win for them, even though some people aren't even, well, a lot of people aren't even talking about it. We'll be right back.